I would like to, to say to whoever has my children that they please, I mean, please bring them home. Bill Clinton, Marv Alpert, and Susan Smith all told the nation they were innocent of any wrongdoing. But what if those investigating their claims could tell if they were lying just by looking at their faces? It may sound impossible, but researchers are now developing a revolutionary new method of lie detection that reads facial expressions to determine when someone is telling the truth or when they're lying. All York County Sheriff's Department units be on the lookout for a 1990 Mazda protege. One of the nation's leading experts on this subject is Dr. Mark Frank. We can start getting accuracy upwards of 80%, and that's quite uh, an impressive number uh, in the world of deception detection. Traditionally, law enforcement officers have relied on the polygraph to help them determine when someone is lying. Have you ever lied about your age? Yes. But Dr. Frank believes there's a better way. He says that most liars give themselves away with split-second facial expressions, known as micro-expressions. These are little expressions that appear one-fifteenth of a second, one-tenth of a second, and um, that will often betray the liar. Incredibly, these micro-expressions can be as minute as a twitch of an eyebrow or an unnatural blink of the eye. The human face has 46 different muscles that move when we express an emotion such as fear, anger, surprise, sadness, or disgust. Researchers in the field of deception have discovered a method for charting these expressions with a system known as the Facial Action Coding System, or FACS. The Facial Action Coding System uh, was a technique developed back in the mid-1970s. And what they were interested in doing was trying to come up with a way to objectively measure facial muscle movements. Dr. Frank believes this system could even be applied to cases like that of Susan Smith, a mother who gained notoriety when she claimed her children were abducted during a carjacking. And he had a gun, and he had it pointed in my side and told me to drive. Those micro-expressions. Uh, we find uh, occur when people are lying. You may see this micro expression of fear come on their face for one tenth of a second, some very brief period of time. Unlike the polygraph, which requires the cooperation of a suspect to record physical responses. Were you at that house on the night of the 14th? No. Micro expressions can be read secretly without the suspect's knowledge. The problem, of course, with the polygraph is you can't do it all the time. You can't constantly polygraph people. That's why scientists at the Salk Institute in La Jolla, California, have designed a computer program that can actually read micro expressions from videotape. The Salk Institute's new computer program could have dramatic implications. It can analyze footage of such high-profile cases as the O.J. Simpson murder trial, the Monica Lewinsky sex scandal, or the alleged kidnapping of Susan Smith's children. The computer program that we've developed doesn't miss a muscle. It's all analyzed, and you can go back later and pull out that information in a way that a human being would never be able to do. According to Dr. Terence Sanofsky, the biggest advantage of this remarkable program is that the subject doesn't even have to be in the room to be analyzed. Our computer system, which has automated the facial action coding system, can be used remotely without the subject being aware of it. It can be used off of television footage, for example. My heart just aches and I miss them so much. I just can't express it. This is TV footage of Susan Smith pleading for the kidnapper of her two small boys to return them to safety. And I pray that whoever has them, that the Lord would let them, and let him realize that they are missed and loved more than any children in this world. Using this cutting edge computer program, Dr. Marion Bartlett reveals the hidden secrets written all over Susan Smith's face. This is an example of Susan Smith. She's, tell she's speaking to the press and she's telling them, I can't eat, I can't sleep, I can't do anything but think about them. 
However, if you look at the video, what you see is um, a slightly unusual pattern of facial behavior. Normally, in adult sadness, what you see is the inner brows raising and the lip corners turning down. But in her case, the lip corners actually turn up rather than down, and her brows uh, contract and pull down and don't pull up. This by itself doesn't prove that she's lying, but it is an unusual pattern of facial behavior. At a later interview, Smith is again seen professing her innocence. The Lord and, and myself both know the truth. I did not have anything to do with the abduction of my children. But watch closely as Smith raises her hand to her chest on the word, myself. Her eyes glance sideways and her lip corners pull down. According to Dr. Sanofsky, these are micro expressions that indicate the emotion of disgust, an emotion that is quite different from sadness. If a person were feeling, for example, sadness, then we know there are three or four muscles, facial actions that would be appropriate under those circumstances. But if other muscles suddenly intrude that are more consistent with disgust, we know that there's something more going on in that person's mind. I want to say to my babies <laughs> that your mama loves you so much. Convinced that Smith was lying, investigators hammered away at her until finally the truth was revealed. Susan Smith has been arrested and will be charged with two counts of murder in connection with the deaths of her children, Michael, three, and Alexander, 14 months. According to Dr. Sanofsky, this revolutionary computer program could have been a major asset to officers investigating the case. And if this had been present at that interview, then this would have been an important clue that could have been used by the police in order to be able to penetrate and find out what really happened in that case. But the ability of this process to detect deceit is real, and that could change the face of law enforcement. And according to Dr. Sonofsky, that's just the beginning. The biggest secret about this research is that it works. There are certain government agencies that are very interested in this technology that may be using it in ways that I can't tell you.